substances which are uh, mixed which are mixed in different proportion right so as we mix this is called mixture mixture of two types that also we learn that is homogeneous and heterogeneous homogeneous mixture it has uniform composition so it is called solution heterogeneous they have non uniform composition so it which includes the suspension and colloidal solution so let us learn now about the different types of mixture let us start with solution so what is solution a solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances it is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances so what is uh, so can you give few example only we uh, discuss few example so you know the lemonade lemonade you know right the lemon juice what we take right or the salt solutions sugar solution all these are example for solution that is a homogeneous mixture for like like uh, whenever we talk about right like salt salt solution is what salt plus water sugar plus water right so that is solution sugar solution and what i mean salt solution the lemonade also you know right so all these are example for solution but here keep it in mind always here when we talk about the salt and water so this is solid and this is liquid what is liquid so don't think always a solid dissolves in a liquid and it forms a solution no need not be you will also have solution of solid solid plus solid solid plus solid solution is also formed how is that formed what is an example for that alloys have you heard of alloy the bronze bronze medal bronze idols right okay bronze is an alloy okay so a homogeneous mixture okay bronze you know what is say in kannada kanchu kanchina padaka right so that is bronze so what is bronze actually it is alloy is actually mixture of two or more metals okay alloy is a homogeneous mixture of two or more metals so bronze is a mixture of two metals one is copper another one is tin okay brass brass is what we say i think in kannada uh hitale right so brass is actually copper plus zinc okay so even if find solid solution right two solids dissolving right so that is an alloy example so need not always say a uh, solid dissolving in a liquid okay then we also have ye yeah, right that is gaseous mixture gaseous solution right one particular gas dissolve in another gas so air is a example for solution it's a homogeneous mixture okay in air is a homogeneous mixture it's a solution okay right yes we cannot see the so uh, the air which is uh, different gases that are dissolved in air i hope you have understood okay so we have solid solution solid plus solid solution we have gas plus gas which is dissolved that is gaseous solution so uh, remove from your mind always a solid has to be dissolved in a liquid only then it is a solution no it can be a solid getting dissolved in another solid or a gas dissolved in another uh, gas okay These are the uh, uh, these are the things which you have to keep it in mind. So now, when we talk about solution, we also see there is one substance which is getting dissolved, and there is one more substance which is dissolving that particular substance. Right? That is, when we talk about sugar, sugar solution, 
sugar is getting dissolved by what? It is dissolved, getting dissolved by the water. By water, right? And what is water doing? Water is dissolving the sugar. Okay. So always in a solution, we find two components. Okay. In solution. In a solution. A solution has two components. Has two components called solute and solvent. Okay, right? Always a solution has two components called solute and solvent. Now tell me what is solute and what is solvent? Solute is the component of solution, is the component of the solution which gets dissolved by the other component that is solvent. What is solvent? The solvent is the component of the solution which dissolves, which dissolves the other component that is the solute. In simple term, solute is the substance which gets dissolved by a solvent and solvent is the substance which dissolves the solute. Okay? So that much you have, I think you have understood. Right? Next let us see few examples of solution. So which are the few examples of the solution. Solute, solution has two components for solute and solvent. Right? Solute is the component which gets dissolved by solvent. What is solvent? Is the component which dissolves a solute. So let us see few examples of solution. One example, solid in a liquid. So what is the example for that solid in a liquid? Which is, uh, what example we give here is salt solution. If you give salt solution or you are going to give, or you are going to give sugar solution, right? So it is the sugar which is a solute, it is getting dissolved by the solvent. Which is the solvent here? Water. Water is a solvent, right? So it is solid in a liquid, okay? Solid getting dissolved in liquid. Which is solid here? The sugar or salt. And which is solvent here? Water. Then tincture of iodine. What is tincture of iodine? It is the iodine solution. It is the iodine solution, okay? It is iodine solution which is dissolved. Which means it is iodine solution where iodine, iodine is solid. Iodine is solid which is a solute, which is the solute, okay? Which gets dissolved by the solvent alcohol. Okay, so tincture iodine, which is the solution of iodine in alcohol. Okay, iodine is the is the is solid, which is the solute, and alcohol is the solvent which dissolves the iodine. Okay, and that's how tincture of iodine is formed. Gas in liquid solution. An example of gas dissolved in water or liquid solution. What is that example you can give? You know every time whenever you drink the aerated drinks. What is aerated drinks? If at all, I mean you are drinking, whether you drink the Pepsi, Coca-Cola, everything, right? Okay, that uh, fizzy drinks, aerated drinks. What does this aerated drinks uh, contain? You know when you open you can see the gas coming out. What is that gas? That is carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide dissolved in water. Now which is solid, solute and which is solution? Which is solvent? Which is solute and which is solvent? Carbon dioxide is the solute and water is the solvent. Okay? Right? So it is gas in liquid solution. And as you know, air is a mixture of gas and gas. A gas dissolved in gas. So you know very well, nitrogen is there, 78% of nitrogen is there, oxygen 21% is there, carbon dioxide 0.03% of carbon dioxide is present. 
Okay, so these are the examples for a uh, homogeneous mixture that is solution. Okay, now let us see the properties of properties of solution. So what are the properties of solution? So first and foremost uh, property, it is a homogeneous mixture. It's a homogeneous mixture. Okay, then the particles which get dissolved in a solution, it is so tiny, we cannot see with our naked eyes. If there is diameter, the size of the uh, particles in solution is about 1 nanometer. The particles, size, size of the particle is 1 nanometer, 10 to the power of 9. Okay? Right? So that is not tiny. That is so small. We cannot see with our naked eye. Only we can see with the help of the microscope. That is electron microscope we can see. Right? That is the size of the particles. Then, these particles do not scatter the light. Particles in the like when you take a uh, water, you add sugar and it gets dissolved. It won't disappear. It has only reduced in its size. Such small size it has become. It is only the size, what the diameter. If at all you know what is diameter, right? If you see the di diameter, if at all you take the diameter of this particle, it is about 1 nanometer. So tiny, so minute, we cannot see with our naked eyes. So when you pass a light through this solution, when we pass the light through this solution, I will be conducting that experiment. When we pass the light through this solution, the particles do not scatter the beam of light. They do not scatter the beam of light. So because of which we cannot see the path of the light. Okay. Next. When you, uh, when you take the salt solution or sugar solution, if really after uh, dissolving sugar and salt, I leave it for some time. The particles do not get, do not settle down. They don't settle down. Okay. They are, uh, you know, they are quite stable. They are, it is stable. The particles, they will be moving, but they won't settle down. So, the particles in solution, it is, they are safe, stable. Stable. So, just now we finish with uh, what is solution and properties of solution. Now, let us go to heterogeneous mixture. So, we know what is heterogeneous mixture. In heterogeneous mixture, the uh, solute and uh, solvent, right, that particles do not dissolve and it forms two separate layer and forming non-uniform composition, right. Under heterogeneous mixture, we have two types, one is uh, suspension, other one is colloidal solution. So, let us see what is suspension. So, suspension is a heterogeneous mixture. Suspension is a heterogeneous mixture in which solute particles do not dissolve. Okay, that's why it forms the non-uniform composition. The solute will not dissolve and it will, it will remain suspended throughout the bulk of the media. Throughout the water, throughout the solution, throughout that solvent, it will be suspended. So that's why it is called a suspension. Okay, so you can do it this uh, like you know, you can make a... Uh, you can carry out a small experiment, small activity. That is, take water and put a, a wheat flour or you just powder the chalk and put it in the water. And you can see the particles are not uh, like, you know, it will be uh, suspended. And it, you can identify the two layers also. So that is actually suspension. So let us see the properties of suspension. So what are the properties of suspension? Next, particles are 
visible. Particles are visible. Okay. Next. The particles will scatter. It will scatter the beam of light. Scatter the beam of light. That is, as long as they are suspended, as long as the particles are suspended, they will scatter the beam of light. Well, and you know, your particles will settle. The particles will settle. Particles will settle when left undisturbed. When left undisturbed, the particles will settle. That means it is unstable. Particles are unstable. So suspension, the particles are unstable. So when you leave them without disturbing, it will settle down. After it gets settled down, it will not uh, uh, scatter the beam of light. Then it can be, the particles can be separated. The particles can be separated. By simple physical process, that is filtration. By using filtration, we can separate the particles. So that's about suspension. You know, uh, everybody could have uh, used also. Like, you know, we get this uh, medicine, right? So there they would have uh, told like shake well before use, right? So why we have to do it? Because it is the suspension. Okay, that medicine, the cough syrup or something like that, the tonic, everything. So they are, which is a, a heterogeneous mixture. It's a suspension. So when you leave it uh, uh, without disturbing, that medicine uh, will not got settled. That's why we have to shake it, right? So that is an example for suspension. I hope you have understood what is suspension. Let us learn what is colloidal solution.